All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hunter Hart, and I am a professional photographer located in Nashville, Tennessee. Recently, I did a video where I critiqued my own images, and luckily, through the feedback that I had of you guys, you asked me to critique your images. So today, I have seven individuals that sent in three photos a piece. I'm gonna keep this very short, and I really appreciate you guys sending in your photos. So we're gonna jump right in to Lightroom now so we can go over a few of these. We're starting off with Grant Martell, and first thing from this image is this looks really, really nice. I love the focal length that you chose for this. We have a nice uh, separation from the background, and it looks just really, really good. I think the skin tones and everything just work really well. The green coming in on the right side of the image just look good. I like the foreground, how it's blurred out. It's very nice. I really like the action in this. She's smiling at the camera and the groom is carrying her dress while he walks and he's obviously happy too. It's their wedding day, what's not to be happy about? The leading lines on this are incredible too. It's always really nice to put somebody in an area where there's a pathway like this and you have walls of some sort on each side. So this looks really good because everything's brought in right here into the center. Really the only thing that I have bad about this photo is this situation here, I guess some type of drain. Um, you could have easily shop that out if you wanted to uh, but other than that that's nitpicking i think that this looks really good so great job grant and i'm gonna hop over to your second image all right so we have black and white here i'm a sucker for black and white this image is really nice i like the background with the reflective water and yeah the pose is nice i wish the guy would have been turned a little bit more into the left you see how his foot for some reason is facing towards the camera more so so he's not completely engaged in the situation. I wish he would have been turned face to face with her. And uh, yeah, I like I like this though. The black and white turned out good. The high contrast looks great. Um, yeah, this is just a lovely image. There's not much to say about this one. Good job, Grant. And on your third image, we have just a, a shot of I see, I'm assuming it's your foot and possibly your son's or nephew's or some kid you kidnapped. I'm not really sure what's going on here, but the image looks really cool. I like all the ice on the ground. Um, it's very documentary style and it's it's really cool. There's not much to say here. I think it would have been cooler if your foot would have been a little bit further because then we would have had more of your leg instead of like just a foot, if that makes sense. But overall, image is cool, it's unique, and um, I'm sure one day looking back at this image, your uh, child here will appreciate it. So we're moving on to Nathan Gilmer. Nathan, thank you for sending in your photos. This image looks really cool, I like this a lot. Um, I like the silhouetted almost image of this person. I think it looks really good. I really like the environment here, and we have this nice uh, wooden fence off to the right. And almost the same thing off to the left except just grass and I just really like how how foggy it is and I love the overhanging trees the subject looks cool fits very well here if I were you I would have got a little bit lower uh, so our subject could have filled up more of the empty space and you could have got more of a silhouette uh, in my opinion but I really do like this image I also think it would look good in black and white I'm just gonna try something really quick just to see I'm gonna make it kind of dark here and and almost I kind of want to crop it I know this might be much but see I like that too it fills up that empty white space that we have and like I said before if you would have got down and shot up a little bit more she would have filled or he would have filled that entire area if that makes sense so good job I think this looks really cool very nice vibe all right Nathan image number two we're obviously using Fuji film here um, I can tell, I, I knew by the colors and then I looked over here using a 56 millimeter. Great lens choice. I like this image a lot. I love the mountains in the background that are covered in clouds and then the trees in the front. There's a lot of layers to this image that I like. I wish you would have had something in the foreground to actually push us more towards what's going on here. Obviously you're brought into this image very easily because there's one massive subject in this, but it's nice to have foreground elements as well. Um, also, one thing I would have lifted up just a little bit, so our fisherman's head would have been right where the water line is. He would have fit that frame perfectly with the water instead of 
coming out of the frame, if that makes sense. Overall, great image, and uh, yeah, it's nice. Killing it with these Fuji colors. 18 millimeter, 1.4, this looks great. My favorite lens for Fujifilm right now. Um, I just, I like this image a lot, honestly. Yeah, there's not much I could say different unless he was actually casting maybe. Uh, obviously he's doing what he does and this looks cool. I really don't have much to say about this image. It looks, it looks great. I like this a lot. I mean, everything's leading. If there would have been a boat, now this is something that you can't really control here, but if there would have been a boat out to the right, just in this area right here, that would have been perfect. And I think that the balance of this image would have just set sail, literally. Uh, this is a really good image, so kudos to you. This looks great. All right, Theo, 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 Theo. Thank you so much for sending your images in. I met this guy in Nashville on Broadway. I was photographing random people, and I bumped into this guy, photographed him, actually, and then he sent me some pictures. So this is really cool how the world works. This is a cool image. I think that it's in Chinatown of some sort. I'm not really sure where you're located in the world, but it looks really neat. I wish this guy would have been standing to the left. There's so many things you can't do, um, but you could have moved to the right a bit and had him so he was like actually in this little area. Also, the highlights could have been pulled uh, a little bit here, but really other than that, I don't think much could have been done. The motion blur looks great. I love a slow shutter, however you want to say it. And this, uh, yeah, it's really cool image. I love street photography, so. Here's another one. I think you're using some type of filter, I'm assuming. Maybe a Cinebloom, I'm not sure, but I really do like this. I like the puddle here in the foreground and um, the buildings in the back. It's structured well, everything looks cool. I can't tell if the light above it is what's casting the light or if there's a light on the sign. I'm not sure which one's giving us light, but either way, this is a neat image. So this is an image of three horses here. This is a cool color grade. Um, I do like this a lot. Um, I think a few things could have been changed. One of the things would have been separating the horses so they weren't all together like this. Uh, it's kind of hard to see what's going on with everybody in this image. And especially the horse to the left. I think that if you would have backed up and had the horses separated a little bit, you could have moved your body to the left pretty easily to do so. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's a nice image. All right, so next up we have Samuel Hartley. Uh, thank you so much for sending your images. This is a cool photo. The lighting is interesting. Um, I like her rings. I like the tur turquoise and I like the frame in the background. I feel like if you would have got down a little bit lower and she kind of like glanced down towards the camera, it would have been a lot more interesting. Um, I do like the reflections of her hands and the, the actual typewriter on the desk here or whatever we have here. The lighting looks great. I feel like her forehead, it was a little hot on the forehead as far as your light was going. If we could have dimmed that just a little bit, but I do like the side lighting we have here. It shows off her structure pretty well in her face. And I like what she's wearing as well. I'm not sure if you had anything to do with picking that out, but it's a cool image overall. This is an interesting image. I like how the background is complementing the actual talent here. And this looks, looks cool. I feel like there's a few more poses you could have gone with. You did send me three images. I feel like there's probably another pose in here. Um, not my favorite pose. It looks a little forced. You know what I mean? Like maybe if she would have like had one hand in the hair and then the other one just kind of like draped around her stomach or down in a pocket or something, but both of them at the same time. I mean, maybe you do that. I'm not sure. I've had images like this before, so I can't say much, but grain of salt. Um, but the coloring looks pretty good. I think um, I think the pose is really the only thing I would have changed. This image is nice. I really like how you have your subject looking up towards the sky. We have some really nice lighting on her. And yeah, it's a very simple image, but it does look pretty good. I feel like it could have used a little bit different color somewhere, maybe some warmth. I can't do much with a JPEG, but this is before and after. I'm not sure. Obviously, it's your editing style, so you get to choose whatever you want to do, which is great. So, lovely image. This is great. All right, Joris. 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 Thank you so much for sending your images in. Uh, I, I'm assuming you're from France. This is uh, a nice image. 
I really love images where the subject's not staring directly at the camera. That's some of my favorites. Uh, this is one of those. You cut the little man's feet off, which some people really care about. I don't really care about. If these are my children, I would just be happen happy to have an image of them. I love the black and white. I love how they're so nice and cuddled up. Um, there's several things that I could have done differently in this image, like pulled them away from the background a bit. Uh, but obviously this was probably intentional and this is what you wanted so this is what we have and that's okay I think if the kid the little boy would have been a little bit more affectionate It would have made the image a bit better, but I'm not sure if this is candid or if this was posed it looks posed But at the same time, it's a great image. So good for you, man. I Like this one studio work really nice. This guy's got a vibe for sure. Does he have sunglasses on? I'm not sure Oh, he's got a mask that he can pull down that has glasses in it. This is a cool image. Love the black and white again um, I feel like he's not exactly centered in this image if you want to get down to it And I feel like we're losing some of him on his right side I wish you would have been you would have been a little zoomed out or a little more zoomed in so it looked a little bit more intentional but as far as lighting and everything goes, I think it looks pretty good. I'm losing a little bit with his uh, toboggan, his hat up here. I can, it almost looks like his hair, uh, maybe my computer, but like if you bring the shadows up a bit, you can see, but then you lose your contrast and that's probably what you were going for, right? Um, so yeah, this is cool. There's just a few uh, framing issues that I would say, but other than that, super sharp image. And this is the last one from you, Jorges. Uh, I like this one. Everything's cool in this image. I do like the studio lighting as well. It looks like one light. Um, I probably would have used a second one on the her back left shoulder coming over. Other than that though, it looks it looks good. So I think this image would look good in black and white. So I'm gonna try and see what that looks like. And maybe a little contrast here. So I like that a lot. I think it, this, I think this was meant to be a black and white image. It just looks sharp in black and white. And everything else she sent me was black and white. So I feel like if this would have been down a little bit more, like her hand looks a little forced. I feel like like if her palm would have been in a little bit almost, and it's not like covering her her lips here, maybe it down like this. That would have looked good. Next up, Anthony. We have a really cool image here. This is. The timing of this couldn't have been any better, obviously. Great job on the timing. I think this looks really cool. Fujifilm, I'm not really sure if this is Fujifilm or not, but it does give me that vibe. Um, so yeah, this is this is awesome. The only thing I would have done is lifted the camera up a little bit so we could have got rid of the top of this building here so it'll look like we don't really know what else is out there. You know what I mean? Uh, so, But other than that, I think this looks great. Great on the editing as well. Another image by Anthony and I feel like I like this image. There's just not a lot of subject matter. I don't know what I'm looking for or if I'm just admiring the um, the outdoors. Is this in Birmingham? I'm not sure where this is, but it looks, I mean, overall, the image looks good as far as quality, but I just don't know what I'm really looking at. I feel like if we had had a subject maybe sitting on whatever this is right here, um, that would have been cool. Um, but other than that, I just can't really tell what I'm looking at in this image, uh, but the image is sharp and clean. So, uh, this is neat. I really like the sun coming through onto the glass here. Um, inanimate objects are fun to photograph and I'm not always the best at it. And wow, this thing is very sharp. Um, this is awesome. Yeah. I really like how you have this light coming through and I'm not sure if you could bring that up any, I know this is a JPEG image, like I said before, but let's see what we can do here. I think if you had done this yourself, it would have been a lot better, but having that light come through, it kind of brings, it's almost like a V like this. And I think that looks really neat. Um, so yeah, I mean, it draws you in, you know exactly what you're looking at. The lights a little bright in the background. Maybe if you would have diffused that a little bit, but this is a, this is a cool, sharp, very sharp image. So uh, I like the contrastiness and, um, yeah, it looks good. All right. Dan, the man, um, you're up and this is a cool image. First thing I would have done, I love the colors by the way, and I like the blue with the orange. Autumn, obviously they have neutral colors on, that looks great. I would have probably cropped in just a little bit since we're losing some of him over there. Although I do like the leaves on the side here, but I think this would have probably been just a little bit better. Uh, I do like the intimacy of it. I wish his other hand would have been interacting somehow so it wouldn't have been like so pressed on his knee like this. It looks like a little uncomfortable, but at the same time, um, it's a lovely image and um, 
Yeah, man. I think just the framing really and the hand positioning would have been a little bit different. That would have been great. Okay, day number two. I've seen this image before and I love it and there's not much that I can say bad about this. I think like if you would have took one step back so we could have got a little bit more of that wood, it would have just been like this perfect box of beauty. You know what I mean? So like if we could have just had a little bit more um, underneath that would have been great. Almost if you would have even tilted down a bit. Um, so we could have got that one row of windows and then more of the wood. So we could have just have like a lot more contrastingness going here. And uh, it would have gave us more lines because you have this line coming down here that's hitting the dress perfectly. We have these lines and these lines. And we could have had more lines pointing towards our dress here. But I... Uh, Love this image. This might be one of my favorites from you, Dan. So shout out to you. Look at this puppy. Oh man. Yeah. You can't really beat a dog photo. Um, I'm glad there is a dog photo. So this uh, is really cool because the framing of it is great. It looks like you just like pop the dog right into a frame and you can't go wrong with a dog picture. This isn't even fair. You can't say anything wrong about this. I love it. The dog's having a great time. And, um, Athena, is this Athena? Um, she is a beautiful dog, so good job. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching me critique your images and other people's images. Uh, I really appreciate you going out of your way to send these to me and putting yourself out there for someone else to critique your images. It's really hard to listen to criticism and it's part of it because if you don't do it, you'll never grow. So kudos if you ever want any images critiqued please uh, comment below or just hit me up on instagram and i will do so until next time peace